Hey there Stampers, this is Michelle Suit back with you for a fun, fast, quick and easy project from Stampin' Up! and me. This is one of the most adorable things, I can't even tell you. I saw something like this on Pinterest and I was so inspired I had to come and sit down and make them right away. These cute little boxes, pillow boxes, are made with, can you guess? Alright, <gasps> toilet paper rolls. How cool is that? We all throw these things away and they're just cluttering up the bathroom or if you're like me I find them on the floor you never know. So I'm gonna show you I'd like to tell you this is, is a real difficult thing to, I've got to give you lots of tricks to do but it's really not these are so easy so here we go so you're just going to take toilet paper roll you can cut up even cut up a paper towel roll anything wrapping paper rolls just so you get this little cardboard um, a cardboard tube and as you can see, not all toilet paper rolls are equal. These are two different sizes. Um, I have found that <laughs> the cheaper the toilet paper, the easier they do come apart. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna choose your toilet paper roll and then you're just simply gonna smush it together. Flatten it out so and you don't want it creased really really sharp on the edges so you don't need to use a bone folder just kind of get a nice fold so that it's um it's flattened out now you can either do what i did um i eyeballed mine but you can use a guide if you would like to i'm using the stylus from my uh, simply scored scoring plate from stampin up this is the stylus that comes with a small end and a large end. You can use either. What you're going to do is, if you're going to freehand it, we're going to go in and we're going to make a half moon shape score line around right about right here. And those are going to be the parts that are going to fold in. Okay? So you can go in and do it freehand like I said, or you can take something and use as a guide. Now this is just a lid to some of my favorite brads. I took the uh, top off. Just you're going to lay it down. Let me turn this around for you, like so. Bring it in, probably about three quarters, half inch to three quarters of an inch, depending on how wide you would like your flap to be here. So if I use my guide, I just set it down, take my stylus, bring it around, and just kind of score that like so. And once I have it scored, you can see that there. I can go back in and just kind of deepen it a little bit. You want to make sure you have it pretty defined so that once you have it ready to fold, they'll fold over nicely for you. Okay? So you'll do that. Go to the other side. You'll do it again. And mine don't always look really pretty, but that's okay because they're very forgiving. Like so. Okay? So I did it on both sides. Then all you're going to do... Now, wait, I should tell you. If you would like to do ones where they are covered with designer series paper like this one, you will cover your roll first. You'll just measure your um, toilet paper roll, measure it, and then just cut a long strip. And I used my green multipurpose glue, Tombow glue, you can tell mine's been well loved. I use this all the time. Uh, this stuff is the best. Um, I put glue on the toilet paper tool tube and then laid the paper on it and adhered it and I let it dry for a few minutes. Tombow is really really good about adhering so you don't have to wait too long but if you'd like to cover it you can. I'll show you one. Here's one that I did au natural. <laughs> this one was just left plain and oops, I took the uh, designer series paper and just kind of made a belly band around the the middle section of it so that it perked it up a little bit. This is actually two layers here. And then added a ribbon um, and embellished it that way. But you can go back and find all different kinds of ways to, to go in and add your closures. This one, the bow unties and the end just pops open. Now these are terrific for necklaces, maybe some earrings. Actually gift cards fit in these really nicely and what a cool way to give someone a gift. So it's all ready to go. And I'm telling you, you need a quick way to wrap something, these are the bomb. Alright, so let me show you again. I just scored the ends of mine and all I'm going to do is take and push it in where I scored it like so. Push the other side in and crease it. And you can 
once you play around with it a little bit, they'll crease pretty nicely for you and stay closed. What you can do if you'd like to, um, I did a couple where I took a circle punch and just punched a little half circle here on this side so that um, it was easy to open up. But they just pop right open and you put your gifts right inside. Do both ends and you are ready to go. So let me show you the three finished ones again. This is the baby one. And this one has a little, from the Button Buddy set, I used the pacifier. And then a little ticket from the That's the Ticket stamp set. I'll show you that in just a second. One of my favorite new sets. And here's another one from that same stamp set. This is the birthday stamp. And I made a little, little flower, just punched some uh, scallops out and sprayed them, spritzed them with a little bit of uh, Stampin' Mist, scrunched them up and they come out looking beautiful like a little flower. And two more of the little tickets from That's the Ticket. Covered this one with some of the chevron paper. Love that paper. And the last one again, this is the Valentine one I did that I left plain. You can kind of see the sparkles. Um, this one I used a little bit of the glimmer glimmer paint, mixed it with a little bit of alcohol and spritzed it for a little little shimmer there. Kind of makes it look festive. So there you have it. Now let me show you this stamp set really quick before I go. This is the That's the Ticket stamp set and you will see it has some adorable, adorable stamps in it for lots of different occasions. I can tell this is going to be one that will see lots of ink time in my Stampin' Studio. So. I hope you enjoy it. If you want to check this stamp set out or get one of your own, please stop by my online store at stampinsuitsme.stampinup.net and you can order one for yourself. Alrighty, I hope you like my little trash to treasure projects and I hope that you make lots of them for yourself and to give away. Have a terrific day. Thanks for stopping by.